Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a highly requested video on my Instagram and that is how I made my Rhino revolver that Harley Quinn has in the Suicide Squad movie. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I just like made my own pattern and then glued the pieces of foam together. Um, but for those of you guys who <laughs> need a little extra help, I decided that I would go ahead and make a video on how you can make your own patterns for lightweight cosplay prop guns as well as give you a little bit of an insight on how I made my Rhino revolver. Um, so I will have these pattern thingies up on my DeviantArt for a free download um, for if you guys just want to go ahead and make the, the gun that I'm showing you or if you don't want to and you just want to learn how to make your own from any other video game then it doesn't matter so basically what you want to do is look at the size ratio of the character to the gun um, video games are a little bit harder uh, but if it's just a movie then it's pretty easy so Harley Quinn's pretty much was it fit pretty well in her hand so I wanted it to be pretty custom to me and so I found a little cap gun from my brother's pile of junk. Um, and since it, this is also a revolver, it's close enough to this that I could kind of draft a pattern off of it, as well as get a size ratio from it. So as you can see, the handle isn't really that different. Um, but yeah. So just find a gun that is the size to the gun you're wanting to make, or it's the size to you, and that will be your pattern drafty sizey thing. So now we're just gonna pretend that the back of my pattern piece is foam that you find at your dollar store um, or whatever. I use poster foam board, like for school stuff. And then I pretty much just bait, I just draft the pattern onto the foam because you can sketch and erase and it's not gonna be permanent. So what I did for this one is I basically just used this piece right here to get my straight line as well as the, the chamber size reference. And then I just cut, I just drew a little outline of the gun looked at a reference photo of her gun, and then just kind of doodled on it. And then once I had my doodle done, I pretty much figured out where this piece would be, and I marked on each side where it would be, where it would be separate, and then I cut out separate pieces. So for instance, this is its own piece, and then I just glued it together. And then this piece, I don't really have a very good pattern on this piece right here, but it's pretty much just because no two guns are alike, so. Now for a quick kind of how-to on how to put your gun together. So what you're gonna do is the gun piece that is titled center, you're gonna cut two of these out. Let me like. And then the one that says right and left, you're gonna cut one of each out. And then for the little handle piece, you're gonna cut out four. Not all of these are going to be the same. Um, that's just how the pattern was drafted out. But once you get the center piece glued, you don't wanna glue on the outside, you wanna just glue on the center. Once you get those together, you're just going to sand it and sand it and sand it until the seams are kind of seamless. Be very careful with the um, trigger guard. <laughs> it's very easy to break because it's very thin, um, but yeah. But yeah, and you can just use hot glue and then the colors that I used, obviously I just like painted it black with acrylic paint and then painted on the little details. If you are using um, the hard craft foam, and by that I mean poster board foam, you do not want to use spray paint. Spray paint will eat the foam because it is technically made of the same material as insulation foam is. And spray paint is very harsh on very light foams. 
dense foams like EVA and the flexible craft foam, that you can spray paint. But with the lighter foam, it will eat through it and then you will just you'll, you'll cry because I did that with my Harley Quinn bat. I wanted it to be shiny so I sprayed a top coat on it and it ate through most of it. So words of wisdom. If someone says that you can spray paint the insulation foam type craft foam, don't listen to them or they just like got some really good spray paint that doesn't eat through everything. Anyway, I hope I covered everything. If I did not cover something that you need help on, please comment it in the comment section down below. I always answer back. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it helps, and I will again leave all the links in the description box, and I'll see you in the next one.